So this is chapter 10, section 1, areas of parallelograms and triangles. We are going to start with problem number 1, finding the area of a parallelogram. So it asks us, what is the area of this parallelogram? So the first thing I'm going to give you is the formula for the area of a parallelogram. I love the formula for the area of a parallelogram because it is the same as a rectangle. It's the base, which for us right here, is 5 inches. That might be a little bit strange. And then the height. Notice that the height is this distance here. It is the altitude of your parallelogram. It is the perpendicular distance from one side to the other. So in this case, our base is 5 and our height is 4. 5 times 4 is 20, and our units are inches. So the area of this trapezoid is 20 square inches. All right, so the B part of problem number one. Um, so we're still on parallelograms. If you look, this is kind of a skinny, wonky little parallelogram here. Um, so we are identifying the base as being 2 centimeters, and the height is this 3.5. So when we go area is equal to base times height, that would be 2 times 3.5. It is okay for the altitude to be on the outside of the parallelogram. That is okay. Uh, two, 2 times 3.5 is 7, and our units are centimeters squared. All right, just like in your book, we get a little got it problem. What is the area of a parallelogram? So it doesn't come with a picture, so the first thing I do is I put a picture. So I have a parallelogram. And even if it's extremely simple, with a base length of 12 meters and a height of 9 meters. The picture just helps resolve it in your brain and verify that you're doing it correctly. So the area would be 9 times 12, and I believe that is 108 meters squared. If you write down an abbreviated form of that, that is okay. All right, so now we're on problem number two, finding a missing dimension. This is where this this process is finding an area of a parallelogram is extremely easy, but for some reason um, they've added this different dimension into it. So for Parallelogram A, B, C, D. What is D, E? Which is the height. To the nearest tenth. So what we're going to do is we are going to shift this guy on its side. And instead of... So it's going to be A, B, C, and D. So A, B is going to be 9.4. And then our height is going to be 9. <coughs> so I'm just looking at... Uh, no, I don't want the 9.4, so I'm not, sorry, erase 9.4. I want the 13. So I'm just looking at the 13 inches and the 9 inches. Because the area of a parallelogram is base times height. 
So my base in this case is 13, and my height is 9. And 13 times 9, well, 13 times 10 is 130, minus 9. Are you sure it's not 1? 117. 20. 10 times 9 is 9. 3 times 9 is 27. 9 equals 27 is 117. I'm going to go calculator on this one. Because. So 13 times 9 is 117. And that's square inches. So now I'm going to take the same figure and I'm only going to look at 9.4 as my base and H as my height because area should be base times height and we know that our area is 117. So in order to find our height, we just divide 117 by 9.4, and we get that our height is equal to 12.4. So a parallelogram has sides, so let me put that on here. Always the picture is worth a thousand words. Parallelogram has sides 15 and 18. The height corresponding to the 15 side is 9. What is the height? Let me draw it like this. I'm drawing it sideways, but I'm failing to draw it sideways. <coughs> okay, so the first thing we're going to do is find the area uh, base times height of the parallelogram using the 15 and 9. 15 times 9 is, I agree, and that's centimeter square. We're going to use that and the fact that it's the base times the height of our same triangle but our base is now 18 and our height is unknown. So we're going to divide both sides by 18. And we got 135. Come on, one. Yeah. Divided by 18. 7.5. So our height corresponding to the 18 centimeters side is 7.5 centimeters. And I did put a little answer check just to make sure I was on the right path. 7.5 centimeters. Okay, I think because we're so familiar with area of triangle that we are they're trying to really amp up the difficulty level. Um, so, this sample problem, you want to make a triangular sale like the one at the right. How many square feet of material do you need? So, 
they, I don't know why they tried to make this really hard for you. So I'm taking it out of the sailboat because it's kind of confusing. And this is, the base is 13 feet, 4 inches. So the area of a triangle, and this is kind of important, is 1 half base times height. I remember it because it is half of a parallelogram. So if I'm going to take this triangle, and I guess technically I can, flip it around. Flip it. Set it adjacent to my other triangle. You have a nice parallelogram. So the area of a triangle is half of a parallelogram, because that's where that formula comes from. You're welcome. Um, so when we find the area of this triangle, the half stays the same. The base, I cannot use the base as 13 feet 4 inches. I need the base to be all in inches. So 13 feet is how many inches? 13 times 12. So 13 feet times 12 inches per foot, that's 156. So this is 156 plus 4 for a total of 160 inches is our base. We have 12 feet 2 inches. 12 feet is 144 inches because 12 times 12 is 144. Plus the two little extra inches here means I have 146. All right, so when I go to calculate that, I go 160 times 146, all divided by 2, and I get 11 sucks order. And that is in square inches. Now, here is where we have to get clever. Because it asks for square feet. And we have inches. So we need to convert this. So 11680 square inches. We're going to times this by. There are. In one foot, there are 12 inches. But we have a little bit of a problem because we are not in regular inches, we are in squared inches, square inches. So we have to square our dimensions as well. This is the tricky part. Please note that when you're in square feet, you need to convert in square dimensions. <laughs> All right, so we have 11680 square. So we have 100, uh, 11,680 square inches. And our conversion factor is going to be to get it into square feet, we're going to divide by 144 square inches. So 11,680 divided by 144 is 81.1 .1 square feet of material. Okay, so let's do our got it problem. What is the area of the triangle? Yay, um, 5 inches is, when you have a right triangle, the height and the base are really easy to see. Um, our issue here is we have one foot instead of 12 inches. So we're just going to use, instead of one foot, we're going to use 
12 inches. So our area is 5 times 12. 5 times 12 is 60 square inches. We did not use one foot one inch at all. Oh, thank you. You're right. It is 30 because it's one half. Thank you. Awesome. 30 square inches because it is one half base time size. All right, problem number four. What is the area of the figure at the right? So we're going to find the area of each part. So we've got this nice little triangle that has a height of eight. And what's the base of this little triangle? So half. Six. Six. And then we have a square whose all of his sides are six. So remember the area of a triangle is one half base times height. So you got one half times six, which is our base, um, times eight, which is the height, and that gives you 24 square inches. Take a look at the square area. Square is base times height, six times six, which is 36. Add the two together, and you get 60 square inches this time for real. All right, so suppose the base lengths of the square and the triangle are doubled to 12 inches, but the height remains the same. So instead of six, so the bases are doubled to 12. This is still six. This is still eight. How is the area of the figure affected? Well, let's find it and then see how it compares. So the triangle, one half base times height, is a one half. The base is now 12 and the height is 8. Let's see if I can do my math right on this. 12 times 8, well, let's do half, half of 12 is 6. 6 times 8 is 40. Ooh, and that is square inches. And then the area of the rectangle is 6 times 12, and that is 72. And then you add those together. 48 is 0, 1, this is 12, 120. So let's compare it to what we got originally. Doubling the bases doubles the area. 